A growing number of West Australians are shopping overseas for discounted dental work and saving tens of thousands of dollars. But the Dental Association warns while local dentists can't compete on price, it's simply not worth the risk and could cost you far more in the long run. For Kareen McGuigan, a trip to the dentist meant travelling all the way to India. The living without teeth was scarier than making that step. The hospitality worker knocked out her front teeth walking into a glass door and needed a total mouth reconstruction at a cost of $85,000 to $86,000 in Perth. I was 40 years old. I had no front teeth. I was going to have to live with dentures for the rest of my life. I became a recluse. I didn't go out. People were judgmental. After four years living without teeth, the Perth mum joined thousands of other Australians heading overseas for discount dental work. There's certainly an increase in popularity. People are talking about it more and there are more private companies who are offering the product. Kareen went to Mumbai, India. After three trips and more than 30 hours in the dental chair, she received a brand new smile. All up, including flights and accommodation, she spent $25,000. That's around 60000 less than if she'd had the same work at home. It's a whole different world. It's scary. But then you walk into the surgery and it's first class. Around half a million Australians will head overseas for medical procedures this year and the savings can be huge. Most dental patients go to Thailand or India. A full mouth reconstruction in Australia can set you back more than $35,000. In Thailand it's around $10,000 and in India $4,800. Braces are anywhere between $5,000 and $9,000. In Thailand it's between $1,925 and in India, just $800. Aussies will pay an average of $1,500 for one full crown. Going to Thailand could save you $900 and India, $1,300. Even factoring in the cost of flights, around six to $700, local dentists admit it's hard for them to compete. But the Australian Dental Association says price isn't everything and the dangers are real. Poor quality work and high risk of disease could cost you in the long run. People do try these things because it's a cheaper option, not realising that they can suffer permanent damage, whether in terms of bloodborne diseases or in terms of damage to their teeth and mouth. Infectious diseases such as HIV and, and hep, uh, especially Hep C, we've seen a few cases of that. The Australian Dental Association warned that if you're having work done overseas and something goes wrong, you may not have access to the emergency care that you need and most travel insurers won't cover the cost. If you're thinking about heading overseas, experts say you should do your research. Have x-rays in Australia before you go. Be prepared to stay longer and go back for additional work. The whole experience, I'm just so happy and so proud and I want to shout it to the rooftops. I want people to go, it's okay to take the chance. Annalise Bolt, Nine News.